Let's do a Wheel of Fortune Picks My Eyeshadow with the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights palette. I don't know what made me think of this, but I had an absolute blast doing this and coming up with a look with the color story that I got from the Wheel of Fortune. I hope you stick around to see how I came up with this look. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather Eaglin. I love makeup, especially indie brands, which is what I'm using today in this video. So I downloaded this app that lets me add all the shades of this palette, and here I'm just showing you what shades I got. I screen recorded as I was doing it. The rules I made for my version of this game is I have to use all the colors that were picked, but if I choose to add to the color story, I can. I just can't take anything away from it. This was a really fun way of coming up with color combinations I might not have put together on my own. It just makes things a little more interesting. I will link the app that I use down in my description box so you guys can do it at home if you would like to. I'll also have a link for the Cosmic Brushes palette. It does price at 34 US dollars, which is a great price range, especially for a palette that has a multi-chrome in it. And here's the color story that was picked for me. The only shade that I added was Zesty, which is in the top left-hand corner of the palette. I just had to show some up-close footage of this palette. You can see that sprinkle shade. It's in the second row, first shade, and it's a multi-chrome. And if you know anything about those, they are expensive to make. So for this palette to only be $34, it's just amazing. I really love it. This is a newer brand. They have come out with four palettes so far. I did not get the first one, but this is the second palette they came out with. It's the Serenity palette. And it's one of my favorites in my collection. This is the Muse palette and it's also beautiful. I just like the Serenity and the newest Delicious Delights best because they're just color stories that really speak to me. Here I'm packing on the shade Zesty. It's the shade that I added to the color story. I knew that I had that multi-chrome which has like a magenta green shift. So I wanted to have some green in there somewhere to kind of pull that into the look. I find what works best for me is to have a flat brush and just kind of pack the shades on where I want them. And then I'll get a fluffier brush and I'll start blending them out. That way I can make sure the placement is even on both sides. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here with the shade Slushy. I really love this tone of blue in this palette and the shadows in her palettes are so like hyper pigmented. I believe that they would show up on most if not all skin tones. They, they blend beautifully. You can see like later on in the video I go back and forth between packing it on and then blending it out because I like to gradually work up the depth that I want in the outer corner. So I just find that's the best way that works for me. Blue and green are some of my favorite colors to put together. But as you can see on the eye, that shade is pulling a little bit yellow, but I mean, it's still beautiful nonetheless. It's like a, a lime green, but a pastel version of it, if that makes sense. Here I'm just blending out slushy with my, I think it's the EO4, but it's the Singe Beauty brand brushes, and they're wonderful brushes, especially if you have like hooded eyes or smaller eyes. It really, the shape of them really helps you get into the socket of your eyelid. Cosmic Brushes is a very, very small indie brand. Like I said, she hasn't been out very long, maybe a year or two. But she has one of the best eyeshadow formulas and to just know how great they are and to get them at the price that you get them is just amazing. Like this palette has 20 shades in it. 
So, I mean, you could break that down. That's like under a dollar for each shade, which is crazy, especially for there to be a multi-chrome in there because this is a very pigmented and shifty multi-chrome. And usually multi-chromes go between $15 and $20 a piece. So for us to get all these high quality mattes and shimmers, and there's even a satin in here, I believe. And then to also have the multi-chrome is just absolutely incredible. The Serenity palette that I showed you earlier, it's the one with the blue shades in it. That's one of my, if not my favorite palette that came out last year. It's a real close race between that and the Unearthly Halloween palettes that came out because Unearthly has, they pretty much are my favorite brand for eyeshadows. But that Serenity palette is just absolutely stunning. Like pictures do not do it justice. And I'm thinking about doing this format of a video with the Wheel of Fortune with this palette that I'm using in this video and the Serenity palette. I think I could really get a very cool color story out of that. So, I mean, if that sounds like fun to you guys and you would enjoy watching it, just let me know down in the comments. And I mean, I'll get on that because I think it would be a good time. I might do it anyways and then load it just for fun. Here, I'm just still packing on that shade slushy and blending it out and then packing it on and blending it out but you can see how well that shade is layering upon itself and deepening up in the crease like her formula really is amazing and so is the shipping i got this palette so fast and i believe this is a uk based brand her products do go in and out of stock a lot because like i said this is a really small brand and she's an independently owned business so she can only get small quantities in stock and then it sells out but she's pretty good about get, getting them all back in stock really quickly i'll be sure to link her instagram down below what i do when i see that she's having a new release i set an alarm for like five minutes before the release time and I sit and refresh the page over and over and over until I see that it's like for sale and then I check out as quick as I can because they always sell out within like the first 20 minutes, sometimes not even five minutes. So if you're interested in her products, I recommend doing the same thing because that's the easiest way to get your hands on it as soon as they're released. She also released a highlighter palette with this palette and I didn't get that because I was so afraid that I was going to miss out on the eyeshadow palette that I didn't even try to get it. So right now it's out of stock. As soon as it gets back in stock, I'm going to get it. But I wanted to also let you know that I will link the restock dates and her Instagram and her website all in the description box. And if there's restock dates, I'll let you know, but if not, I'll update my description box as soon as there are some updates on that. As you can see here, I've already added charms to the outer corner, and then I'm just going back and forth in between that and Jelly Bean. And now I'm going back in with Slushy on the very edge, and I do believe that's my EO4 Singe Beauty Brush again. If you're someone who's really good at blending like very pigmented shadows, then you won't have to do the back and forth work that I do, but I just like to build it up slowly. So that's why you see me go back and forth a lot. This video is 18 and 22 minutes long, but in reality, when I started editing this video, it was over an hour long. So that's how long I spent on my eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is my absolute favorite step in makeup. It's the thing that makes me feel transformed when I put it on. I just love it. It's my favorite step and I love all eyeshadow, but colorful eyeshadows really have my heart. Blues and oranges and greens, they, they're just my favorite. 
I'll pick a blue eyeshadow before anything. And you know, that's the shade that a lot of people run from. We all seen Mimi on the Drew Carey show and she scarred us all. And now everyone's so scared of looking like her, I think that they just run from the bright colors. But after I got over my fear, I mean, I never looked back. Now I'm just packing on charms in the outer corner, just trying to get that deep, dark, dramatic outer corner. I love a dramatic eyeshadow look. So, I mean, you don't have to have a dark outer corner to do dramatic. You could do it with a light inner corner and then like a mid-toned shade on the outside. But I like to go all the way. It's amazing how you can create a contrast on your face with color and just give yourself a whole different eye shape. Makeup is just such a fun way to express yourself and it's my outlet for everything. I just love it so much. I'm just still going back and forth in between charm and slushy, just trying to deepen it up. I already recorded a Wheel of Fortune Picks My Eyeshadow for the new Blend Bunny release also, and I should be having that up soon, within a few days, hopefully. Now I'm just running that charm shade underneath of my lower lash line, and then I'm blending, blending it out with the shade Marshmallow. Basically just doing the same thing down there that I did on top. I'm just packing on that darker color and then blending it out with the lighter shade until I get the gradient that I'm looking for. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm doing my makeup and I can start to see my look come together, I get so excited. It's like I know that it's about to be badass. <laughs> and in case you're curious, my highlight that I have on is a mix between the pink shade from the Blend Bunny Nocturnal Palette and the Rare Beauty Powder Mesmerize Highlighter. They're both beautiful formulas. I like the Rare Beauty though because it doesn't have a lot of glitter to it. It's more like a smooth highlighter and it just, I don't know, it's beautiful and still blinging even though it's not a glittery formula. I'm still blending out with the Marshmallow shade. I'm like focusing that mostly on the inner part of my lash line and then the edges of the outer part just try to get some contrast there and now I'm deepening up with the shade charms and then I will probably re-blend it out with that light pink matte again I'm curious if you guys were able to get your hands on this palette and if you did what are your thoughts on it or have you tried anything from this brand yet Now I'm adding the shade Whipped Cream, which is the matte white, in my inner corner. It's a really good matte white, very pigmented. I'm just lightly adding it on. And this is my NYX Glitter Glue. I really love this because it makes your shimmer shades not only stay in place so you don't have glitter fallout all over your face, but it also makes them so much more impactful. And adding the shimmers is my favorite part of the whole eyeshadow look. Well, that and blending the mattes. I guess the whole thing. But my point is, I love the end when you just see it all come together. And you could do a fake cut crease with this glitter primer as well. Because you could make it very precise or you could, you know, blend the shimmers out up into the mattes. Personally, I don't do that. I just try to keep the mattes on my lid. Now I'm adding the pink shimmer shade, Candy Floss. I personally prefer a shimmering inner corner. I know a lot of people like matte, but for me, I prefer a shimmer. This time, I don't really have an inner corner shimmer, so I use the white marshmallow, and I try to just blend that white and mix it with the green and blend it into the pink so it's more cohesive. 
Now I'm using candy floss on my lower lash line. And a little tip, if you have any kind of fine lines underneath the, your eyes like I do, if you add a shimmer underneath of there, it hides them perfectly. I always put shadow on my lower lash line because it does a really good job at hiding my fine lines. This is the multi-chrome sprinkles. This multi-chrome is so pretty and you'll be able to see it later when I show you the finished look, but just the way it shifts from that green to the pink and there's some gold in there, it's just absolutely stunning. And that's the thing about the NYX glitter glue is it does great with multi-chromes. It really shows the impact so much more. I should do a short video swatching like some of my favorite shimmers without the glitter primer and then swatching it with so that people can see you know that the glitter primer really does make a huge difference here i mix the matte white and that matte green and i'm just blending it on the inner corner try to create that lighter contrast i've only used this palette twice so far but with the shades I have used, I can honestly say that it's the same great quality as their other palettes. And I really just can't wait to play with it again. I just absolutely love this look. And I look at this palette and I see so many different looks that I can do with it. It really is such an inspiring masterpiece. I just absolutely love it. At this point, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say that, but I can't help it. It's just such a great formula and such a great color story. And the price point is insane. Like, it just makes me not understand. One, these mainstream brands, they're not really coming out with a lot of multi crones but when they do, you're going to pay 80 bucks for that palette, which is just insane. So I'm just wondering why a smaller indie brand like this can create it at this price point but nobody else can it just i don't know maybe she's got better contacts for warehouses that create multichromes but here i'm just adding charmed back in and i also added jelly bean just to create that gradient and there i showed you the color story that i got and this is the finished look. If you look closely, you can see the shift in the eyeshadow. It is just so stunning. I really had a great time with this and I had fun wearing this look. I got a lot of compliments that day, which is always fun. I thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell for notifications of all my future uploads. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.